Hi students, let us continue with the types of threads. So in the previous video, I just explained about the user level. Now coming to the next type of thread is the kernel level. So what are the, so in this case, how the threads will be managed? Let us see. In this case, thread management is done by kernel only. So whatever the threads that uh, the users are creating, so that will be managed by user. But coming to the kernel level, so uh, everything that uh, the threads that are present in the kernel level, that threads will be managed by thread management system. So next, kernel threads are supported directly or supported directly by operating system. So all these kernel threads are supported directly with the help of the operating system. And also the kernel maintains kernel maintains context information it is going to be maintained some context information uh, for whatever the process that is using for the process as whole as a whole and for individual threads within the process for individual threads within process so this context information that is maintaining by the kernel okay the kernel maintains some context information for process that is present uh, that the user is uh, uh, asking the request that is a process for execution a program for execution that process as a whole that process information will be present in the form of context information or the individual in, uh, threads within the process information also present in as a context information so the kernel performs kernel performs uh, thread creations it performs operations like thread creations scheduling and management so these are the operations that the kernel can also perform now coming to the advantages and disadvantages of kernel let me write the advantages advantages of kernel level at kernel level so thread set kernel level so first kernel can simultaneously uh, schedule multiple threads from same process on multiple process uh, it can simultaneously schedule multiple threads it can simultaneously schedule multiple threads from the same process from the same process on multiple process on multiple processes so this is one advantage and next if one thread is in a process is blocked suppose let us assume if uh, one thread is blocked if one thread in a process is blocked kernel can schedule another thread of the same process so if one thread is broke, blocked it doesn't bother about it doesn't uh, stop the execution if one thread in the process is blocked kernel can schedule another process another thread in the same process so that is one of the advantage if you are using kernel level systems now coming to the disadvantages what are the disadvantages in the kernel level kernel level type of threads these are slower to create and manage so that i already said these are when compared to the user level kernel levels are slower to create and 
manage slower to create and manage and uh, the transfer of control from one thread to another thread within the process requires a mode switch to the kernel so it requires mode switch if you want to change uh, from one level to the uh, one thread to the another within the same process it requires the mode switch so this is the uh, another type of the thread that is a kernel level thank you